with murdering his mother the night before Thanksgiving. 22-year-old George Harry Jr. is accused of shooting and killing 52-year-old Sonia Harry as she was driving them home from a family dinner Wednesday night. Police say the mother was driving north on Woodward and Royal Oak when her son, who was riding in the back seat, shot her in the head. After the vehicle crashed under the 696 overpass, police say the suspect got out and fired shots randomly at three other passing vehicles, including one carrying a baby. No one in that car was hurt, but a 43-year-old Ferndale woman in another car was shot in the leg. George Harry Jr. is scheduled to Normally, in court I tomorrow. would do my commentary and then get into the footage. But this is a a story that's still had me choked up. That's why I never um, really spoke about this situation from since the holiday. I have never heard A story like this story about this man, George, 22, his mother right there, up there with me, his mother driving while he's sitting in the back seat. And, and the one thing that's going to be in another video is that every man will fall to the mercy of a woman. If a man has ever loved a woman, if a man loves a woman, if a man cherish a woman, one day he will fall to the mercy of that woman because man came out of a woman. Might not have to do another video on that. But this is the mentality of, of the men that Cynthia G. Nala says, I say it again, Nala says and Cynthia G. and other women who talks about these type of men. He's 22 and he's such a fucking brat that he could not take the criticism from his mother who was driving, probably getting in his ass because his attitude at Thanksgiving and probably telling him about himself. Boy, you know you ain't shit. You still ain't got a job. You still out here on these streets. You walking around with this gangster mentality. I didn't raise you like that. And he couldn't take it and bopped his mother in the back of the head. He bopped his mother in the back of the head. This is... Your mother... With nine months, my mother, your mother, and the first person to criticize you to get on your ass is your mother. And if you cannot take the criticism of your mother, then how can you make it in a society? You can't. It's nothing in this world that my mother would, could ever do. That will make me go that far. We talking about mama too. If anybody in the jail cells that know Batman 300, that know of me, that know me, you know what you got to do. Do this one for me. You know what you got to do in prison. Y'all know what you got to do. Y'all know what you got to do. Please. Do this one for me. Do it. Your mother.
is the birth to see. And we men today sit up and we bash our women and we talk about the women and this is the mentality that if we don't give a fuck about our women, then how do you kill your mama, don't you fucking shit? How? Oh. How? Oh. This is crazy. You got to love, and this is why men can't love a woman, because you hate your mama. Nigga, she gave birth to us. We wouldn't be alive if it wasn't for our mamas. You, you just, I'm begging y'all in prison, please. Do this one for me. Take it for me. For me. Because I can't get to him. I can't get to him. Do it for me. If you don't love your mama... You can't respect women. Red Supreme, O'Shea, all of y'all tough love, or any men in this YouTube world, we got to talk up. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, women. I... The picture. The picture. You shooting your... You shoot your fucking mama, you, know? you blow your mama brains out. You shoot your mama like a scarlet dick. Oh my god, dog. Ooh, take care of me. Take care. Take care for me. Take care. Take care of him. Take care of him. Okay, I'm out.